Welcome back, guys. And if you enjoyed the first episode, I think this episode has a chance of blowing your minds. You're going to love it. Now, I've been continuing to uh, add in trees to mark out some of the features and I'm going to switch to a different height map so that you can see them more clearly. Uh, this is pretty rugged. I'm going to switch to a smoother map. Let's pull this one in. Right and now you can clearly see like where I've marked out the river around here. Now the reason that I've been marking these out and marking them out with trees is, beginna, is going to become very very apparent very soon. I'm going to zoom in and I'm going to go over here to the river. Just over here. Right? And you can see that I've got this um, I've got this marked in with trees all along the river. And I've been using the transparent overlays to, to get these major terrain features marked. But wouldn't it be cool if we could actually have in-game overlays? Well, you can. Oh, yes. There, is a, there was a mod called um, Image Overlay. But there is now a mod called Better Image Overlay. And let me show you this because you're going to love this. Now this is controlled with the uh, with the, the the keypad, your number keypad, and I'm just going to raise the map up and take a look at this. Look at that. You can see clearly the river coming through here, and I'm going to continue to raise it. And now you can see the whole thing. Right, let's let's zoom out so you can see the whole thing. And you can clearly see if you if you look at this part over here, you can see that the I've, the way I've marked it in is close, but it's not quite bang on. It's very, very close, but it's not quite bang on. But if you look at some of the roads, which tend to be um, easier features to pick out. So, for example, over here I've marked out the M25. If I increase, if I raise the map just um, just slightly, right, you can see that th this feature, because obviously this is a motorway, this is a freeway. Um, you can see that we've picked this out pretty darned well. So, and I've checked out the four corners. And if we go down here, let's go down a bit quicker than that. If we go down here, this um, this illustrates it pretty well. We've got the um, the M25 coming around here, which is the uh, the orbital freeway, which goes all the way around London. And if I raise the map up, you can see that we've got the M25 picked out. Now the great thing about using trees is obviously the trees are slightly higher than the terrain. So when you raise the map, you can still see the trees and it's a great way to mark out these features. So I've made sure that we've got, uh, so we've got the M25 around here. We've got, um, we've got the M25 here. And again, you can see, we picked it out with the trees. And if we go over here, uh, with a bit of luck, if I drop the map just a little bit, we should see, yes, we've picked out, what is this? I, I'm not sure what this, um, oh, this is the, uh, I, I should know this, this is the A3 that runs uh, very close to my house. Um, so yeah, we've got, uh, we've got that, and this is what you want to do. You want to pick out these, these major features. Now, the great thing about using the trees, as I said, is that when you plop them down, you can still see them above the terrain. So this is a fantastic way to mark out your terrain. And we'll take this right up. Oh, that's I think that's the edge of the map. Oh, is that the edge of the map? Not quite. Oh, yeah, that's the edge of the map there. Sp oh, space already occupied. Oh, it's not the edge of the map. Oh, there we go. That's the edge of the map. If I, if I drop this down, you can see, boom, there's the edge of the map. Cool. So um, we've got that we've got we've already picked up the M3 pretty well slightly off with this uh, with this road I can't, don't even know what that road is now we didn't pick up the M4 which is one of the one of the major roads. we picked it up over here um, there's actually an elevated section of the of the highway that we managed to pick up over here but we didn't pick it up over here now I this illustrates this um, using the trees probably better than anything so let me raise the map up Right, and then I'm going to pop my trees in. I'm going to start at the edge of the editing area and whack my trees in along here. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> it's going to be lots of bum, bum, bums, tell you. And along here, 
bum, 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 bum. Now, see, if I mark this with um, with roads, you wouldn't be able to see the roads because the the map the, the roads will be the same height as the terrain, and and you wouldn't be able to see them. But if you mark them in with trees, you can see them, and then you can put your highways over the trees. And I've got a great tip for you. I've got a great tip for you. If we come up here, I need to raise the map a little bit. Here we go. Now, actually, see we've got this line of trees across here, but there doesn't seem to be a road, and that's because I've picked up a railway. Oh, yeah. We've got this down here is the M1, and we've picked that up very, very nicely. Let's have a, a quick raise of the terrain there. Oh, we've picked it up well here, but we're kind of slightly off track there. So I'll need to uh, I'll need to redo that bit, and then over here we didn't pick we didn't pick this up by the look of it. We need to put that in. So let's, let's raise the map up a little bit. Oh, we, I don't, I'm not sure what uh, what motorway this one is. That's the M1. Yeah. Not sure. I'll, I'll have to look at a bigger map to see which uh, see which one this is. But we could just plop in a few trees to mark that one. If my mouse will behave, boom, 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 boom. And then we can zip over here. Where's the A10? Now, did I pick up the A10? Probably not. Let's drop the map down. Oh, no, we didn't pick that up. So let's, let's pop in the old A10. Bang a few trees in here just to mark the entrance of that. And then we can mark in the M25 going around here. being very central but it'll be fine it'll be fine and then we come over here we've already got um, pretty good markings on the the what's this is this the a11 or the a12 this is the a12 i think it's the a12 no, I, th I, think, no, I think i thought this was the um no this is the i'm sure this is the m11 going out here this the a12 yeah the a12 goes over here yeah there yeah, that's it that's it not a part of the world that I'm like massively familiar with, but I'm more I'm more familiar with the southwest. And then you can see over here, if we look at these um, reservoirs, and the trees are great for marking these out. You can see we're like we're pretty darn close, but we're kind of not like a exactly spot on. We drop the um, drop the terrain down, and obviously I can refine this now so that we're, we're absolutely bang on and ultimately what we're going to do is we'll dig these out and then we can come over to for example by the river which is already pretty much dug out and if I drop this down again you can see that we'll be able to see once we've dug out the whole of the river we'll be able to see that blue line showing through and then we'll be able to use that as our like major guide when, uh, whenever you want to put this map, this map overlay back on, how freaking cool is that, guys? Right, now it's time for a bit of time lapse uh, while I mark in uh, a few more of these features around the border, uh, just to make sure that I've got, I've got everything that I want on there. Then it'll be time to start playing around with the terrain tools.
Okay, that's all done, and uh, now it's bite the bullet time. Let's uh, let's lower our map so it's out of the way. There we go. And uh, now it's time to decide which height map we're going to use. Now, this comes down to kind of personal preference. It kind of depends, like, what you like the best and how you like to do things. I'm going to show you how I like to do things. If you take something like th this map, so I think the one we're on, yeah, um, then, yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's fairly nicely smooth. There's, um, you know, it's, it's nice and you know, fairly nice and buildable on. Uh, it's pretty good, but some of the terrain height differences aren't really what you would expect. Now, I know from, because I live here, if I come over here, um, this isn't really doing justice to the, to the hills around my area. So what I prefer to do is take, oh, and I'll show you something else. If, if we come over here, this map has like, like big holes everywhere, which, um, which are a bit of a pain to fill in. Uh, it's more difficult filling in holes than it is smoothing terrain. I'm going to go for this thing. Now you'll probably look at this and go, "Oh my God! Like, like, like this is like this is horrendous." You know, it's going to be like so much work to to, to you know to deal with this. Ha 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 ha! But it isn't, and I'm going to show you how. Now we move on to the terrain tools. And there are four primary tools: the uh, the, the, the shift tool, which uh, raises and lowers the terrain. Then uh, the level tool, which allows you to to copy a height and make all the other make other terrain exactly the same height as that. Uh, the soften tool, which basically smooth things smooth things out. And then this thing over here, the slope tool. And I'm going to show you this one first because we're not going to be using this. So I thought I'd just kind of show it to you. Um, if we take uh, you know what, let's create, first of all, uh, let's take this, and I'm going to use this brush, and I'm going to increase the brush, and I'm going to explain all of this stuff, but I'm just going to create, like, um, a bit of a, a bit of a mound over here, and then I'm going to, or, you know what, actually, it'd be better to create a hole, because it's nice and level. Now, I've created a, a hole down here. If I switch to the level tool, if I right-click over here, that sets a marker where I just clicked. So I'm going to do it again. I click there. If I then move the, the, the cursor over here and left click and hold, it will level the terrain smoothly from where I started, so from my marker here, to where I started the slope. And if you look at this, it just creates an absolutely smooth uh, slope from uh, from one place to another very very nice tool if you're doing bespoke maps it's absolutely awesome but we're not going to be using that so let's go let's get rid of that and get back to uh, get back to the original map what we're going to be using primarily is the soften tool where's the soften tool now the the level tool I'll just show you this first the level tool let's um, use a, a small brush and see if I can demonstrate the level tool. Actually, yeah, I, I, you know what, we can. If I, if I lower this, so we'll drop it down like to, to the minimum height, so that this is, at, this is like at zero meters. If I wanted to make other terrain the same level as that, what I can do is go to the level tool, right click on the area that's at the right height that you want, and then left click anywhere else and it'll immediately go to the same height so boom and it's a great way to uh, to like digging out rivers we will be using it for digging out rivers thinking about it then we've got the soften tool one of my favorite tools this thing is awesome and this is where i'm going to start explaining to you about the brushes and the brush size and the brush strength and all that kind of stuff Let's go over here, and as you can see, this is pretty horrible. Like, there, there's no way that you could build on this. So we have to soften the terrain. What I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with a, with a medium-sized brush. The, uh, the smaller the number, that's a very small brush like this. And then you can go up to a very big brush like this, which is huge. We're going to start with like a medium-sized brush. And I'm going to take the strength down to about 10%. 
Now, th the stronger the brush, the the more the more of an effect you're going to get when you use it. So this is going to be like quite a soft softening. And then you've got different brushes that you can use. Now, the brush that I would recommend you use when you're doing this kind of thing is um, is this brush over here, which is is it does more softening in the center and less softening around the outside. This one creates hard edges, right? So I can you know, kind of demonstrate. Like if I if I click and hold that, you can see that you get the same amount of leveling all the way around. Okay, which is which is to be honest with terrain is not this kind of terrain is not really what you want. What you want is something that softens. I use this one that softens more in the center and less at the outside. And the way I do this is to, to move it in a circle over the area that you want to soften. So you just move it in a, and look at that. It creates a lovely, smooth, nice, buildable area. Now, let's talk for a second about the, the map itself. Remember, you've got five uh, map squares along each side. So you've got the 25 map squares in the center. And then outside you've got the border. Now you can't build in the border area. The, this is your eye candy area. So outside the, the central 25 squares, you can afford to allow your terrain to be a bit rougher. The only place that it actually needs to be smooth is where you've got a road that you're going to put in. So, for example, like along here, this is the M25, this row of trees. This has to be smooth because we're going to be putting, uh, we're going to be putting a river in. Uh, a river. We're going to be putting a road in. So this needs to be pretty smooth. So I'm going to like run over that a few times to make sure that that's nice and smooth. So that when I put my highway in, it doesn't look bad. Right? So like I probably want to smooth this area a bit around here. There we go. But when it comes to like these... Now these are not cliffs in the real world. They are um, they are sweeping downs, but they are quite steep. I mean, it, like if you drive along the M25, you see this. I mean, it's, it, this is a major terrain feature in the, in the southwest of London. So what we're going to do for this outside border area, I'm going to go to my biggest brush, okay, and I'm going to keep it on 10%, and I'm going to start softening this area. And I'm going to work from the um, from this ma outside map um, border uh, out towards the the outer edge. So, and I'm just going to run it in circles over this area, and you'll see that very rapidly this changes to become something kind of cool looking. And it loses that kind of horrible hard edge and gets this um, this kind of nice look to it. Now, it's kind of like pure aesthetics, how, like, how harsh you want to leave it or how soft you want it to look. But like I said, the only place that it needs to be really soft, like we're going to be running a highway uh, along here. And when it comes to here... If we don't soften this, then, then this is going to be uh, a bridge. We don't want that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to reduce my brush. And then, yeah, probably a little bit larger than that. And then we're going to start to soften this. I probably want a slightly larger brush, actually. There we go. I'm going to start to soften this area. Because we want this to be kind of smooth so that we can run that road through and you just keep working it until you've got the desired level of smoothness so could I run a road through there mm, yeah no probably not probably needs a little bit more smoothing so we'll smooth the area around here and just keep going until you get you what you want. Now, this isn't smoothing out enough, so I'm going to increase my brush strength slightly. Like, not very much, just a bit. Just to get the effect that I want. Here we go. This is, this is starting to have the effect now. There we go. Right. 
Can I run a highway through there? Mm. It probably still needs a little bit more. I'm going to increase the bridge strength a little bit more. And just keep on. Use that circular motion. You'll get the you'll get the nicest kind of results. We're gonna to have to smooth this whole thing out a little bit more to try and get the terrain nice and even for our highway to run through. How's that looking now? Much, much better. It probably could do with a little bit more work. And what I could do if I wanted to, like if I was really concerned about this, I could go to my slope tool, right? Click on the, uh, click on the high part here. Now I want a smaller brush for this. So let's, let's take the brush size down a little bit. I want it kind of the width of the highway. So I can click up here on this tree, right click, and then starting down here, run a slope up there. Okay, so now I've got a, a nice smooth slope for my highway. Then I can go back to my uh, softening tool, and yeah, yep, that should be okay. And then I can work on softening the area around it here we go. Again, and you just keep on doing it until you've got the effect that you want. And now I should be able to run my highway through there quite nicely. Excellent. Good. Right, so now we can go back. Uh, I can click my brush strength down again to about 10%. About but it doesn't have to be like absolutely precise and then you know I, I, I'm going to be precise the OCD kicking in then I'm going to crank up my brush size and continue to work on this area and you can see how quick and easy it is to do this I mean it's just a quick run over with the softening tool in the areas that need it and if it needs a bit more give it a bit more Awesome source. So I'm now going to have um, a, a run round the whole border of the map and uh, do my softening. But just remember, this is going to be your eye candy area. So if you want to create features or you want to make it look nice, leave a bit m more rough terrain in. Uh, it just makes it look a whole lot more interesting. Right, let's get on with this. Okay, so I've done the outside border kind of roughly, but if you zoom in and take a look, you will find that you will get some kind of lumps and bumps and stuff like that. What you do, take a smaller brush, increase your brush strength slightly, probably up to about 20%, and then you can just reduce these. And you can be as fussy about this or as not fussy about this as you want so like I'm like there's quite a few of these and I don't want to be that fussy about it so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna increase my brush size slightly a little bit more there we go and then I'm just gonna a quick whiz over the the roughest bits and just take out the worst offending bits that I don't like so over here, over here. Right, and there's a, obviously there's, there's a fair old few of these around. And we just want to like soften them down a little bit so that instead of being like peaks, they're just like little hills. Which I don't mind. I don't mind having a few little hills around. Got the reservoirs over here. Take that down a little bit. Take this one down a little bit. This can probably come down a little bit there. There we go. Now these are 
miss features. These shouldn't be like this at all because these are actually reservoirs. So I'm going to soften that right down and the same there and the same there. There we go. And again, you'll get things like um, embankments. This is where uh, a, a Oh, this is the river. This is by the side of the river. And this is a road running along the side of the river, which we kind of don't want that there. So, soften that off a little bit. There we go. Right. So, yeah, it's just a case of um, working my way round the border and, uh, and getting this done. Okay, with the, uh, with the outside done, and I'm fairly happy with that, it's time to move inside the border. Now, inside the border, you've got to remember when you're making maps that they have to be playable. That means you have to be able to build on them. So you have to be a, a bit stricter about your, uh, about your smoothing out of the terrain. Like, like this, you couldn't build on this. It would be a nightmare. This would be horrible to build on. So you've got to be like fairly harsh. So I'm going to crank my brunch brush strength up to 20, about 20%. Here we go. About 20. And again, I'm going to use a fairly large brush. So I'm probably going to go. I'm not going to go all the way up because I want like some control. And I'm going to show you like um, now where <laughs> I'm trying to think because like over here, this is uh, this is Kingston Bridge down here. Oh, right, yeah, here. So these these this kind of mountainous area over here. It's actually just at like, wait, well, it's quite a hill. It is it is called Kingston Hill, and it is a hill. So we want to keep the hill, but we want to be able to build a road over it. It's kind of important because I've got to put my house in. So I'm going to smooth this out, and you'll see that we we do keep the height. Right, but we smooth out all the lumps and bumps. So now around the outside, I'm going to be fairly harsh because we don't want. I mean, like this here is a bit too harsh. You won't be able to build roads on that nicely. So yeah, and uh, anywhere that we're we're doing the river wants to be fairly smooth. Now, especially when you consider the scale of this. Um, because we're we're building on a, like a, about a three to one scale, and uh, it's going to mean that any any terrain features are going to be multiplied by three, which the roads in this game won't deal with. So you got to smooth your terrain like quite a lot. Right, that's the general idea. Let me get on with it.
Okay, now I'm going to focus on the river because I haven't. Uh, I've kind of purposefully left the the, the river area alone because um, I want to be a bit more precise. I want to level around the edge, but I want to try and like where we've got evidence of the river. I want to try and keep that as much as possible. So I'm going to go down to a a relatively small brush and uh, drop my strength down and uh, like out here. This can be smoothed out a bit. That's okay. And then around here a little bit. And then we'll just follow the river in. Like, like obviously this needs to be smoothed out along here. Now, this is the airport. So I'm going to keep that feature in for now. Because I, I want to try and see what we can do about mapping that area out. So I'll leave that. That's the That bump there, that's actually the O2 Arena. And then this is um, Canary Wharf. That, uh, there's Cabot Square at this end, and the uh, One Canada Square, as somebody pointed out. Everybody calls it the Canary Wharf Tower. It's actually One Canada Square. It's like the the, the gherkin is actually um, what is it, Thirty St Mary's Axe or something? But everybody just calls it the Blooming Gherkin. Let's come on. Right, all these um, nasty lumps and bumps we're going to smooth out. There we go. Because, seriously, you just... It's, it's got to be almost flat to be able to build on it. Uh, all this around here is going to have to be flat. And we'll do we'll do some more smoothing later, but... So kind of, there'll, there'll be a, a last smoothing that goes on prior to the... Uh, prior to putting the map out. But, like, right now, I just want to kind of take the worst of it off. And then we can start work on the river. I'm really looking forward to that. That's going to be very cool. That's going to be very cool indeed. Uh, a bit more smoothing around there, around here. Uh, this is all pretty darn smooth. All right. All right. Looks good. Okay, cool. Right now, we can get on with the river. Now, to do the river, we're going to use the, um, the level tool. Uh, now, there's a, there's a couple of ways you can do it. I mean, it's kind of up to you. Uh, I showed you how the, the level tool works. You've also got the, um, the, the, the raise lower, which is the shift tool. And it's the, it's the same kind of deal, but instead of just going boom to the level that you want, um, it, either, it either raises or lowers the terrain kind of as you hold down the mouse key. So it's... Um, Left key, left key raises it up, and the uh, the right key just drops it down. And yeah, we you know you could go and do it like this, which is nice and gradual. So it kind of depends, like how confident you're feeling. You can do it nice and gradually if you want with the uh, with the shift tool, or you can go crazy and use the um, uh, the level tool. And I don't know, I, we might use a bit of a combination of both. Now, brush. I'm, I'm going to bring my brush down to, like, no, a bit bigger than that, actually. <laughs> to, yeah, probably about this kind of size, because I want to be precise. So I'm going to start doing the edges of the river. And this is why I wanted to keep these terrain features in so that I can be as accurate as possible. Now, it may be that subsequently, when I take a look at this map, the, um, the scale of the river doesn't look quite right. And if that's the case, I'll widen it slightly. Um, because it, at the end of the day, when you're doing these maps, it is a case of making the map work. And accuracy is all very well and good, but if you end up with a map that kind of doesn't have the flavour, that doesn't have the feel, that isn't that isn't playable, then you've kind of missed the point. So we'll carry on up here. And see, th this is the point where you start to think, yeah, should I be using the the level tool? But it's one of those things that the, the more time you take over it and the more precise you are, the better result that you're going to get at the end of the day. And um, 
because this isn't particularly well marked, right? Like up to here, it's pretty well marked. I mean, you, you can kind of see that the edge goes around there, and let's clear that out. And it comes over here on this side, around here. There we go. Right. So, yeah. Um, now, the different brushes will give you different effects. So, obviously, this brush is giving us kind of a... a, a I mean, it's a fairly steep slope, but it is a slope. Whereas, if you use this brush, you get a very, very hard edge, which let me show you on a bit that doesn't matter. That's, so, if I do it over here, you'll get a much sharper edge right can you see how that's that's like virtually a cliff as opposed to like a fairly steep cliff and then there are other things that you can use which will give you different effects right and you can just play around with them and see see what works when you use when you're using a, um, a, a river when, you, when you're digging out a river personally I think this is the best one to work with first but um, but hey you know play around you can get different different effects right uh, I'm gonna carry on and finish digging out the river Now, at this point, to help me judge the uh, the river, I mean, I've been going by the um, the terrain features up to this point, but at this point, it's getting harder to see like how wide the river is and whatever. So, what I'm going to do is just bring up my map. All right, I can just bring it up like that, and now I can see exactly where the river is. And as you can see, I've gone a little bit high on this side, uh, but that that kind of okay. I don't mind that. We can widen that a little bit there. Like I said, the um, we're probably going to make the river, in fact, I'm pretty sure we're going to make the river a little bit wider than it would be to, like, absolute scale. And as you can see, according to the map, the river's a bit wider than this, so we can widen this out. Ooh, quite quite a lot wider in actual fact according to the map oh there we go now we're seeing the edge now we're seeing the edge cool so um, so yeah I can just um, like get on with it
So what do you think, guys? I think it's starting to take shape, isn't it? We've got um, all of these reservoirs up here in the, this is the Lee Valley up here, the Lee Valley reservoirs. And uh, there is the River Lee, and I, I don't know, we might put the River Lee in, I'm not sure. Might be an idea, I, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see about putting the River Lee in. Um, now, I may have to, inc like I said, increase the width of the river. We'll see, we'll see how it, how it, how it develops. But we've, um, we've got the basic layout in. We've got our map smoothed, so now we're ready to put in our highway connections. Uh, but that'll be the next episode. Don't miss it. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, and please leave me comments. Uh, other mods that I can use, or little tips or tricks that you may have discovered, drop me a comment, and I'll see you for the next one. Peace out.